It is not lonely at the top. It is not lonely at the bottom. But it is, however, lonely on the journey. My name is Joseph Darling. This is the Men of High Value channel. We're discussing about loneliness on your entrepreneurship journey and the difficult time that people usually have on their way to the top. I'm saying that it's not lonely at the bottom, although there are some aspects of loneliness there because no one really cares about you, right? You don't have any significance, really. You don't have any power. No one's attracted to you. Uh, things sometimes work, but then the vast majority of the time they don't work. You are told what to do on a continual basis and our souls are craving freedom and you have to, to basically do what your bosses tell you to do and if you don't you get fired and if you get fired then you have to be unemployed you have to go on the dole okay or you have to find another job which sucks because you're not being paid for finding another job and you basically have to be in submissive mode on a continual basis now being in submissive mode is not necessarily bad in and of itself because that can actually help you to get everything you want in life if you follow the right people and you're submissive to them but because then you eventually become a leader in your own right however you you're in the circumstance of loneliness a little bit at the bottom but at the same time, you also have friends because there's a lot of people like you, right? They, they don't necessarily like you, but there's a lot of people like you, okay? So, which means you still suck. It means that you're still in your circumstance that is not really helpful to many people. You don't have any value to give because you're not really putting in much effort in actually solving people's problems or solving the world's problems, etc. And so you're paid accordingly. So as a result, you might not experience loneliness. But this is this can be a bad thing. Because if you're not feeling loneliness, and this you gotta recognize that relationships is the biggest component of life quality. And, have, and having a fantastic lifestyle. If you have sucky relationships in general, your life is gonna suck. So the likelihood of you having sucky relationships increases exponentially the more at the bottom of you know this, the social ladder you are, the more likely it is that your relationships are gonna suck because people have not really gone through the personal development journey. They haven't become who they were designed to be yet because they're still in their sucky situation and they it hasn't really been enough pain enough for them to actually pick up their bootstraps and do what's necessary to get their freedom to to up you know their their financial situation and improve their lifestyle right so it's a trap because you end up feeling that you have somewhat of a good life because you have some good relationships and you basically go to a party here and there and you meet up with friends or you meet up with the neighbors and you meet up with the church people or whatever it is that you do and you feel kind of happy like you it's life is okay it's just that man i have to get up again on monday morning and then i have to you know have to wait until friday and then i get time off and now i can do what i want to do or i do what i want to do only in the evenings but i don't really govern my own time there's a huge sacrifice that you're making staying in that circumstance because in many ways it will eventually become lonely because once people begin to have kids once people begin to have families of their own you might actually be one of those who do that and i highly recommend against it because that's the path that i chose but uh, and i'll tell you in the end of this video what path i would recommend instead but once you get to that age of 30, 32, 34, and people begin to separate their own ways and starting their own families, the woman is going to require you as a man to help out in the home a whole lot. Okay, And when you are home, you're going to feel lonely because your wife is going to be nap yapping at you. Your kids are not going to like you that much because they like their mother more because she's their mother. Okay. And if the mother is yapping at you, then, then it's not going to really 
be beneficial to be the man of the house. A lot of the time you hear a lot of laughter about man caves and stuff like that. It happens, okay? People literally have man caves and they go there to hide away from their family and then they go to work hiding again from their family. So do you understand how lonely it can get eventually if you just follow the same path, ordinary path that most men follow? Don't do that, okay? You really just have to put the little extra in ordinary in order for you to have an extraordinary life, okay? But you have to put in that little extra and that's what I teach on this channel. So it's not lonely at the bottom, but it eventually will become extremely lonely, right? So what do we want instead? Well, we want to get to the other side, okay? Imagine there's a pain island and the pleasure island, but I'm not talking about that type of pleasure, although that is included at the top, okay? Pain island is remaining who you are today and staying the same, which means that you're actually declining because other people are improving their lives most probably, right? So don't stay the same. And then you have the other side, which is pleasure island, which is more in terms of, of achieving what you want to achieve long term and creating abundance in every single aspect of your life okay don't that's what i mean by pleasure island in this context okay so is it lonely at the top because there's a lot of people who say that and i would reckon that it's not lonely at the top why is that well are there a lot of people who are busy you could say that if they're still in high paying jobs okay because job stands for just over broke. And so those people basically have their life sucked out of them because they're being paid for so much, right? And they're needed at their jobs and be, and they're paid that much so that they can be needed. Does that make sense? And they've kind of increased their lifestyle together with their income so they don't have the opportunity of quitting their jobs or, or starting something else on the side because they can't because they're being paid so much. Okay, so don't, don't be in the high income bracket ever <laughs> but because you're literally screwing up your long-term potential of ever building a business i'd rather be low paid in the beginning of my life okay but work a lot gain the skills and start a business on the side because i don't have that many responsibilities yet okay that's when you need to start a business so at the top you have people now i'm talking the real top now people who've actually started businesses who've developed their financial freedom and their time freedom so they can do whatever they want to do when they want to do it because they've got a ton of money and they've got other people and systems taking care of their business so that they have passive income coming in. That's what you want to aim for and it literally is a two to five year process. If you follow and subscribe to and, and pay for okay, a mentor of some sort, okay, I highly recommend myself because I'm biased, but that's the journey of two to five years of actually completely changing your life. Up there, tons of friends, tons of people who want to hang out with you, tons of people who respect you and who will actually enjoy their company with you. The old friends might not like you, but who gives a rat's ass, right? You want to spend time with new friends who are actually going places and setting new goals and you're participating in their lifestyle. The difficult part of the journey is in the middle it's the actual journey <laughs> that one is lonely and I'll explain why you haven't proven yourself to anybody yet of your value you still suck during this time frame meaning you're low value okay and you're being rejected and you're failing on a continual basis people don't really want to hang around you you don't have time to hang around them anyway okay so it's kind of like a double double edged sword there and you don't have much money because all of your money is being refunneled into your business. It's, there's no much time, so you don't really, you know, reach out to people. And if you do reach out to people, it's for business. So you end up having, you know, some business friends maybe. But they're also busy with their own stuff, right? They haven't made it yet, so they're also low value in a sense. So everyone is kind of in that circumstance when they're on their journey towards the, you know, the big leagues. This is the hardest part of entrepreneurship. That success journey of being lonely because you know what happens? Your femininity starts craving social. It starts craving women, 
it starts craving being around social gatherings and partying and all that stuff because you don't have much of it. But if you do start that route and begin to go down that road, very often tons of distractions begin to come up and you end up stopping building the business and continuing your entrepreneurship journey or taking 10 times longer than what it should have taken. This is why I've established men of high value. In many ways, I want this mastermind to be a support system for each other where, ev where people from, or men, from every single niche or business model come together and speak about the trials and problems of business and the obstacles that they're facing together. And guess what? 95% of them have the exact same problems as everyone else who's on their journey. They just don't talk to each other about it very often. And so Men of High Value actually solves that problem because we've got daily group calls where people can actually chat to each other about the problems that they're facing. And suddenly they're not lonely anymore. These other guys are on the same journey. Some have proceeded you know, faster and some are further along than others. And then there's others that are further behind than you. But it creates an amazing pack of men who are going in the same direction. And guess what? When we actually make it to the top, We've already established our inner circle friends that we're going to spend life together with. That's what's so awesome. And that's what I recommend for you is to actually entertain the idea or thought to become a part of men of high value on the inside, the inner circle, the founding fathers at this point in time are being established. And, and if it becomes too lonely for you on the entrepreneurship journey, Maybe if you haven't even started yet, it's because you don't have a mentor and you don't have a, a, a network of people that are doing the same thing as you. Stop being lonely. It's not the time because if you are too lonely, you'll end up stopping the entire journey altogether and going back to your old network of friends and staying there for the next 40 years. That's not what I recommend. Make sure that you subscribe, like this video and Let's continue our journey towards success. I'm fired up for you and see you guys in the next one.